Hello everybody, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Facebook live streaming app with vMix. If you haven't seen our other videos, Facebook has just released a brand new live streaming application which you can now connect with vMix to create really high-end live streaming broadcasts with titles and effects and virtual sets. What we're doing right now in this video, now you can connect that to Facebook Live through a live video application that they've just released. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Um, so here we are, I actually have it behind me. Um, it's not on everybody's Facebook page, so it's coming. In fact, it's not on the PTZ Optics Facebook group page. Luckily, I also manage the Huddlecam HD Facebook page and you can see it right here. See that little button, the live video button? That is the button that you can click to now launch the, uh, let's take a look at it a little closer here and I'll zoom into it. Um, see that little live video button right there? Let's take a closer look. Um, you click this live video button and it then allows you to launch the Facebook application. So instead of a status post or video or an audio, you do live video. That's the first thing we need to do to connect it to um, to Facebook. So that's what we're going to do. And we also will be showing you how this all works inside vMix. And I'll do my best to make sure that this works out perfectly here. So um, let's go ahead and say testing a Facebook live app with vMix. You click the next button and it's going to launch an application. You're getting the preview bars there, and the reason why is because we need to go inside vMix and we need to um, we need to add vMix as a um, source. So that's what we're going to do next. So if I go in here, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you vMix as opposed to this desktop capture. So here's vMix behind me, okay, and right here, okay, see this little button right here? Oh, it's right here. That's the external button. If you've used VMX, you've probably seen it before. When you hit the external button, now all of the video from VMX is now being pulled into the, fa the Facebook Live app. So let's take a, a closer look at the Facebook Live app. Um, you're gonna see a windowing effect just for a second. I'll get rid of it soon. Um, in fact, what I'll do is I'll put my PTZ Optics camera in here before we go too far. If you ever switch sources, if you switch a camera feed, if you switch an audio feed in the Facebook Live app, you need to right click it and reload it. Basically, this is like a WebRTC app, so it can only lock into one video source and one audio source. So if you have vMix as your video source, anything you do in vMix will now be shown and broadcast live through the Facebook Live streaming app you can also set up vMix to have all the audio from vMix go into a virtual audio cable and be selectable as the um, audio source for the Facebook Live. So let's, let's take a look at that. So let me get a little closer here. And what I want to show you is this little button up here at the top. This is where we're going to select our microphone and our camera. So you see these virtual audio cables here. I've got virtual audio cable one and virtual audio cable two. Well, what we're going to want to do is we are actually going to want to um, select one of these and then have set up vMix to output all of the audio through our A or our B bus, our audio bus, directly into this application. So that way, all of our microphones, everything will be ported in there. The other thing we want to do is instead of just having one PTZ Optics camera as our video, we are going to have the vMix video set up. So when I hit done, nothing happens, okay? It's still set up as always. What we need to do is we need to right click and hit reload. Bing. And sorry this content isn't available. You Okay, so you may only be able to reload um, this a couple of different times, like once or twice, once you start reloading. Reload me twice. Um, and this app is brand new. I didn't know that was going to happen, but yes, you may need to. Once you get this locked in, see, look, now we've made the changes. We've reloaded it. That is the output of, of, X, of vMix. There you can see it there. And that is the way that looks. Oh, wait, sorry, here. So 
this is the app behind me here. That's kind of my way to avoid the windowing effect. So let's take a look at what we need to do inside of vMix. So, and I'm sorry this is kind of small, but this is 1080p, so you should be able to see it pretty well, is if we go into settings on vMix, okay, and inside, I, I apologize it's small, but this is the best way to avoid the windowing effect. Um, you go into audio outputs, and there's an A and a B, okay? So with our A audio output, we're gonna choose one of our virtual audio cables that we chose. So let's go back to um, our Facebook. Here's our Facebook here. We go to here. And what did we choose for our audio? We chose line three virtual audio cable. Now you do need to go online and download virtual audio cables. This only works for Windows. vMix only works for Windows, shouldn't be a surprise. And so if we go back to vMix here, we go into our settings, we click the audio output, and for our A, we do virtual line audio cable. We click OK, and it's gonna say, do you want to restart vMix? No, I'm not gonna restart vMix because I'm in the middle of a live broadcast. Last thing I wanted to show you guys is that the audio settings within vMix, okay? Um, See these little buttons? I saw. I apologize that it's so small. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it full screen. Yes, there's going to be a little bit of a windowing effect. Audio mixer. See this audio mixer here? See the little buttons that say A, B? Well, we just A and B are your secondary. So M is your master audio. A is your uh, audio bus A, and B is your audio bus B. So this focus right here, that's my main microphone. So if I don't have A set up, then it's not going to go out to A. And if I did have A set up, it would show up here as well. So you can choose what you want to go to Facebook Live or what you just want to go to a master stream or recording. Master goes to your stream and your recording. So I hope that makes sense, everybody. Feel free to ask comments in the questions below. That's what this is all about. Thank you so much for watching. That's been our vMix tutorial. Take care, everybody. Click to watch another exciting PTZ Optics video and don't forget to subscribe. Tune in Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern to join our live show with new industry experts interviewed every week.